Video update on the latest uh, rock breakers. I uh, see so here at the front the uh, this is internal paint job, um, clear glass there. You can see how I can only get a cream colour. Can't get the beautiful white of the externals paint jobs. No, um, not uh, on the top. It's quite easy to get things like this. A bit of discoloration, a bit of grey cloth, things like that. Uh, but pretty good. I think maybe I'll keep doing some of these internal jobs, um, but mainly on uh, more whacked out paint jobs, not plain ones like this. Uh, I've got in here now the uh, slot for the under over servo setup and your horn slot um, sitting there. <coughs> so that'll be coming through um, cleaner system than before. Back to the bottom. Go across the um, molded in servo pocket. So we've got um, fibers coming up the sides of the pocket, that's nice and solid. You can't really see there, but oh no, here it is, wrong end. Just in there is the hole where your control rod's going to come out. I don't quite focus, wonder what this thing's like. That one's a little bit rougher looking. But yeah, I need to. Uh, <coughs> Making sure I cut the jigs up to uh, get the drill bits sitting at the right angle to get them through nice and neatly. As this is the first external paint job breaker that's coming up. Uh, beautiful shine. You can see those reflections on it. I don't know if you'll see, but there is some micro bubbles through it. Not. And I just got a couple of little frays here, here on the bottom from uh, the, the uh, double bias cloth. Just cracking a little as I trim the trailing edge. On the top, looks pretty sweet as well. Uh, very happy there. I'm very happy with this. Now I was looking to uh, put wipers on this baby, and uh, there's a, so I'll hold that control surface there, you look how fine that little slot is, I'm going to hold up, now it opens up if we come down you'll get an open, but that's going in underneath as we come up, so being a light build I'm going to just leave it at that, I don't worry about wipers. Be happy, make sure can I get the angle right. Around here. Oh, you're just starting to see that little bit of sink there from the servo pocket. And, oh, yeah, and there's the other one for the curved spur. So, I don't know if I can do anything about that, but I'm not too worried. Uh, coming over, this is the third one I've just pulled out today. Now, this is the yeah, my hair. This is the problem I get when I'm pulling the masking tape off. It's very easy to pull some of the paint up with it. Not. Uh, get that as we come down here. You probably can't see, but I know these last two panels are it's just a tiny bit thin on paint. Not quite perfect white. Well, they're over. Now we got the mad ass silver, yellow, black paint job on the top. Once it's got it, a fuse like this comes on it. So that'll look pretty sweet. And I'm just struggling to focus, but. Um, just a few little imperfections there where it's not quite enough resin in this baby. And uh, just get a little bit there. And back in. Oh, yeah, here we can see the carbon from the outer skin is wrapped around into the inner a little bit. Just to uh, keep nice strength in that area. All the nose of glass to be 2.4 friendly. I'm just getting a bit of discoloration here where the uh, glass is overlapping. Uh, the carbon, um, a few little factors there, I think I can fix that up, yeah, I'll work on that. 
Bottom piece, looks pretty sweet. And the mad tile to go with it. So, I think you can't quite see, you probably can't see in the videos, but I am getting a few mic getting uh, micro bubbles still in them. Um, anyway. Try another technique again just to reduce them more, see if I can get them hidden and gone. So that's the latest from the Rockbreaker factory. Uh, very happy with where I'm getting to. And um, yeah, I'm very happy that uh, the work I've done at the moment is coming together and uh, getting a better product. You know, beer time, so yeah.